one today let's complete talk about the energy we take before the kinetic energy and potential energy and we take that uh, the we have a uh, two uh, form of, uh, of potential energy we have a gravitational potential energy and also elastic potential energy and it was the last uh, period we take the elastic potential energy and we answered uh, some problems about that uh, today inshallah we will take both of them with each other in one form that is mechanical energy energy but before talk about mechanical energy we'll talk in general about the conservation of energy conservation of energy okay the energy is conserved <laughs> sorry conserved <laughs> quantities okay what the meaning of conserved conserved it means we have the same uh, or constant uh, um, uh, we have constant uh, amount okay now that the meaning of conserved okay we have the same things every time okay now when the uh, uh, when the something uh, conserved it means remains to be constant we have the same number every time look over guys suppose that you have uh, five hundred dollars for example okay and you will buy some things okay now you will buy some things by this five hundred dollars okay and uh, you will buy maybe you will buy a t-shirt uh, and also you will change your uh, phone and uh, buy a new phone okay and buy a new phone like that uh, uh, okay and uh, at the end you have uh, just ten dollars at the end okay now if we uh, add all of them with each other it will become at the end five hundred dollars okay now that's the meaning of conserved okay we have amount of the number that's constant the same at the end but of course guys the money not conserved a uh, quantity because the money will spend every time and will convert every time we hope to be that like that uh, uh, but in, in fact that's not happening okay now but we have another quantities we have another quantities it will become conserved quantity like what like the uh, like the mass for example like the mass for example another example for that uh, this uh, lamp when we damage this lamp damage uh, now this uh, lamp of this uh, very small pieces of glasses have mass okay now if we collect all of the mass of these okay now they have the same mass of the pieces of the little piece of glass okay if we add all of them with each other it will be the same mass this is the meaning of conserved conserved it means uh. constant the same okay remains to be constant every time the same uh, 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 it will be the same amount every time okay that's the meaning of conserved guys hello okay, we take before guys uh, we take that energy we have mechanical er energy and non-mechanical energy mechanical energy we have two kinds kinetic and potential and that is our session for today we explain more about that but let's take an idea about non-mechanical energy in general guys energy is conserved uh, is conserved co quantity energy is conserved quantity energy can just uh, change the form change the form but in general it will be conserved at the end okay now when the car moves the car move what why because we have some uh, machine and some uh, 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 some things inside this uh, car motor okay will work together and this machine will work by petroleum now this chemical energy change to become kinetic energy and like that guys okay now energy change form but at the end still conserved energy is conserved quantity okay now let's take a look about the non uh, non mechanical energy non mechanical energy guys like what uh, like uh, uh, nuclear like nuclear uh, bomb or like nuclear uh, uh, atom uh, this is uh, a non mechanical energy chemical energy uh, uh, internal energy it means a thermal energy the energy come because of the heat or come f from the particles inside the object that is called internal energy electrical energy all of that are examples about uh, non-mechanical energy when we talk about mechanical energy we are talk about two things we are talk about the um, uh, kinetic and potential energy just that Sir. 
معلش مثلا يعني ايه that is the difference between mechanical and non-mechanical energy all of that uh, the chemical and electrical and the nuclear and internal energy all of that are examples about the non-mechanical energy but when we speak about the kinetic and potential energy we are speak about mechanical energy and we will focus more for the mechanical energy right now okay heat, uh, heat okay I will change the color uh, light heat uh, and also sound okay sound uh, all of that are uh, examples of the non-mechanical energy also guys okay in addition to the chemical and, in and internal and electrical all of that examples of non-mechanical heat will mechanical energy which means the potential energy and kinetic energy with each other the total potential and the kinetic energy with each other we take that guys before we have something called the gravitational potential energy that the meaning of the potential energy because of the position now this guy with the bicycle here in this place he has potential energy when you start to move down now this potential energy change form to become kinetic energy now both with each other both with each other it, it will become the mechanical, mechanical energy. energy okay that is the mechanical energy now we have here a uh, kinetic energy okay now he, when he moves up like that now here he has potential energy when he moves more down again now it change from potential energy to kinetic energy like that now that is mechanical energy the total potential and the kinetic energy with each other for the object that is the mechanical energy okay let's take another example now uh, look over for this bandolium for example this bandolium if you have uh, old watch if you saw wa uh, old watch before you can see this bandolium move uh, in in two sides like that okay now if you look over here now we have mechanical energy we have kinetic and potential energy how when this object or when this bandolium moves up in this place okay in this place here we have potential energy in this place we have potential energy and no kinetic energy because this one is stop movement for maybe for uh, for little uh, seconds okay and now it moves down again okay moves down again now in this one move now it's motion kinetic energy in this point we have very uh, big kinetic energy and the same thing will happen when this one moves up again now here potential energy is max kinetic energy zero and the same thing will happen again like that guys like that that is mechanical energy both of them yeah. with each other uh, kinetic and potential energy about the uh, uh, the kinetic energy and potential energy and we said that th that is the mechanical energy okay now i said that guys now both of them with each other it's called the mechanical energy and mechanical energy is conserved also is conserved now mechanical energy equals kinetic energy uh, plus potential energy okay and now this mechanical energy is conserved quantity is conserved quantity okay when we said that conserved quantity it means what it means here the uh, uh, the mechanical energy in this place okay mechanical energy here uh, uh, mechanical energy here I at the beginning is suppose that we start from here okay now equals the mechanical energy at the end can you see that guys now we have B max K E zero B max K E zero okay yes now the mechanical energy at the beginning it will be the same amount of mechanical energy uh, in in final position okay now they are equals they are equals Th that is the meaning of mechanical energy is conserved quantity is conserved quantity okay now let's m make a simple uh, experiment I got to, in, in your book we ha you have a simple experiment or a simple example about that uh, look over here in your book okay now suppose that we have egg and uh, this egg will drop down okay this egg will drop down of course guys you know that the uh, kinetic energy kinetic energy equals 
that is the uh, uh, the formula for kinetic energy k e equals half m v squared and potential energy equals uh, sorry equals m g h okay equals here m g h that is the formula of the uh, uh, of the kinetic energy and gravitational potential energy okay that is the two formulas we will use uh, today uh, what is that? We, we want to know uh, uh, we want to uh, uh, to know the uh, mechanical energy for all position when the egg uh, drop down okay now the egg starts from here and here after uh, 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 zero point uh, zero one second okay and now the, the it's dropped down more and here in 0 0.03 second okay and here this drop down after 0 0.5 second for example for example okay now and we want to ac to count the mechanical energy for all this distance for here and here and here okay now i said that it's conserved Conserve it. It will be the same number. Look over in the schedule in, in next page Okay, can you see that schedule here now in this case? He will uh, know the speed and he will uh, uh, account uh, or calculate the potential energy and the kinetic energy for all times Can you see that here for all times? Okay and it will be the same number at all movement okay now we can say that potential energy and the con uh, and the kinetic energy they are opposite with each other when the potential energy increase the kinetic energy decrease the opposite will happen look over for this simulation to understand more okay guys now here in uh, this guy with the skateboard uh, okay now he has a speed of course and we want the bar can you look over here focus in this part here we have kinetic and potential energy okay and this is the total amount you can see that the kinetic energy increase potential energy decrease potential energy de increase kinetic energy decrease but the total amount every time the same look over start here can you see that guys now we have potential energy and total energy to be the same and the kinetic energy is you okay now here total amount all of them the same amount it means mechanical energy equals potential and the kinetic energy and the most of time kinetic and the potential energy they are opposite with each other potential energy increase kinetic decrease and like that Let's explain the formulas. Okay, now we said that. Be, be, be more concentration with me, please, guys. You should to remember, don't forget that. Ke, kinetic energy, equals. Okay, now please don't forget that equations. That's very important to explain the formulas about the uh, potential and the kinetic energy. Okay, now uh, we said that here we have mechanical energy. Mechanical energy initial equals mechanical energy. Uh, uh, mechanical energy final final mechanical energy they are the same and we said that mechanical energy equals potential energy gravitational potential energy plus kinetic energy right okay now I will make the same thing here look over now I will write here mechanical uh, kinetic energy initial plus a potential energy initial I don't write G guys but I don't want you to confuse okay now here equals kinetic energy final plus potential energy final any problem okay now what I will make now I will uh, uh, I will substitute ke or kinetic energy and both this one and the same thing with the be okay now look over here now this one is half m v i squared because we have here the uh, initial velocity okay plus BEI that is M G H I okay M G H I that is a uh, uh, potential energy okay equals excellent now equals now uh, final KEF it means half M V F squared plus m 
G H F. Okay, guys, don't confuse, don't be, uh, uh, don't be angry because it's very long uh, formula. Don't memorize, don't memorize. Understand, understand. That's very easy. You understand this and this, and you memorize both. You can write this equation very easy. Okay. Okay, let's take some notes about this formula we do have here. Okay, now in this formula, if he said that in the in the uh, in the uh, problem uh, the object start from rest, it means v i zero. It means all of this here zero. Okay, and also if he gave you height, if he said that we have object and we drop the object down, okay, uh, above the surface of the Earth two meters. Now two meters here is h i. Is two meters and HF here in this case uh, to hit the ground now he HF here zero because that all of this also become zero okay this very important uh, points to understand and to uh, answer the problems about mechanical energy or conserved mechanical energy okay we'll explain that inshallah next session see you inshallah